right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be working on this matchbox 2008 holden ve ute ssv um i found this a while back in five packs but i just i didn't want to buy the five pack just for one car recently i went on ebay and found a couple in the blister so i bought two for about the same price of a five pack which was the only car that i really wanted from that five pack so today we're going to keep it simple we're going to be doing a wheel swap so let me get this table out of here stop it i'm going to try to do a, a, a one take So I have about 3,000 videos uh, showing you how to drill and tap. Well, not really 3,000, but it's a lot. So I already went ahead and drilled and tapped this car. Look at the interior, manual transmission. I like the seats. If I had the ability to clone seats, I would definitely clone these. But I just been lazy with that. We're gonna be doing a wheel swap. And I've always told you that I'm gonna reuse the axle. So I don't want to damage it. So I come here with a little, with a small flat tip screwdriver and try to open up the, these tabs. Yeah, so it comes out. At the end of the video, I will show you some of the things that I bought to work on here on the channel. If you follow me for a while, you know that I'm probably wondering why I took a break. Well, I, I was doing a lot of matchbox lessening and I came to a point where my favorite lessening were the the Volkswagens and basically did all of them and also the prices got ridiculous on eBay I guess the there's a, a lot of people doing restorations and customs with with the old matchbox so the people selling them on eBay They've been asking a few more dollars than I think they're really worth. But I took a break. I was working a lot of hours. So I recently bought, I'm, today I'm waiting on one that's not here yet, but monoblocks that's what we're gonna be using I guess I could show you the one that's not here yet later on or maybe it'll get here by the time I get done with this video who knows so the monoblocks they come with their own axles here brass they are too soft for me I don't really like them if you're trying to do something quick just to see how it looks they work perfect but for something more permanent I don't recommend them so here you can see I use the same axle right 
I'm getting a phone call. Luckily the video didn't cut up. Push the axle on this side. Let me put my glasses on. See how much is sticking out? That's because the uh, the monoblock's uh, inner part of the wheel is a little bit different. So I'm going to use this other cutter because it's stronger. And I want to cut a piece. Everything I use is going to be in the video description. And today I'm going to be using Prelator here. I call it Prelator. But it's basically a, the, the proper name is a fencing plier. You can see there. Two hands. Squeeze. See how I made a flat? Let me fix the light here. Let's do a test. It's a little bit tight, but it will do. We're not racing anybody. So once you do it, you see how much is sticking out. We don't have a lot. So we could just leave it like that. Or if you want, you could nip off a, a small tip there. And the, the monoblox wheels, they tend to be deep, so they hide. They do a good job hiding it. All right, let's do the other one. If I could find the axle, oh, here it is. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but every time I'm working on something, 150% of the times everything falls on the floor and then it just kind of goes through a black hole and it shows up in the planet Venus for two seconds and then it jumps back to Mars and it just keeps jumping from planet to planet and I can never find it so This one's going to be a little bit longer, but we can cut it. Make sure you have the, the wheels facing the right direction. I think this one might be too big. Yep. Too big. Not a problem. Go back. You go further in a little bit more. You really got to put in some muscle. I think it might still be too big. Yep. Cut a little piece here yep right about there I think a 
Tu, 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 tu. That's good. But I want it a little bit tighter. Just a little bit tighter. I think right about there, I think should be good. Fine right now, I'm just being really picky. That should be perfect. Yep, that's good. So, let's use this as a stand. I really like these Matchbox wheels. Matchbox should do real riders based on that rim. So this is why I don't break the tabs. You see the air, the tires are up in the air and I could just push it down. Oh, it happened again. Oh, they're over here. When I do this, I try to put the, the both sides to have the crimp part on the same side. Okay. Here we go. You do this, you don't have to put glue. And if in the future you want to use the wheels on something else, you can just pry them open again. As simple as that. All right, all right. Got the interior here. Let me zoom out. This is the only reason because of that tab. It's just to hold the wheels in place while you flip the base to put it in the car. Look at this. So now, what we gotta do. Put the screws back on. If I could see what I'm doing. Let me get this out of the way. Here's a tip for you. Don't go old. Because when you start going old, you start losing your vision. There it is. So, let me put this back on the turntable, and I'll be back. All right, and here it is. Beautiful paint job, beautiful details, front and back. It just needed some real riders. So the monoblocks look very, very nice. And it rolls like a dream. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, I had to take a few phone calls and uh, what I was expecting got here. So we're gonna start with this beauty right here. Oh, I think I gotta zoom out. I've been searching eBay for a while now to find something that would catch my eye, you know. Uh, this was not cheap, even though it's not complete. It's missing 
a canvas over here made out of a glass and it's supposed to carry a motorcycle and it has different variations but uh i'll go into that when i make the video but i'm not gonna carry a motorcycle what it is you're probably asking k6 slash 11 pickup truck matchbox super kings this one is the k6 and like i said it's supposed to carry a motorcycle it says 1974 but it was released in 1976 and you may be asking what should pair up with this truck how about this a 1976 honda civic oh yeah so i'm gonna turn it into a like a flatbed truck carry the the honda civic oh so good. i think it looks amazing huh oh i haven't seen this look at the details on this thing damn i just might do a wood swap on this thing it looks nice yep i don't know should i do a custom or should i leave it like this i just customize the truck to match the civic so like i said let me know in the comments that's the k6 this is the k11 k11 i believe the proper name is k11 dash c again when i do the video i'll give you the complete information i don't have it on hand right now this is the one i was waiting for i just got here uh, it was not cheap but it's complete so uh, th they were selling one with all this back part here missing but it was it was even more expensive than this one this one might be a, a restoration being that it's complete the wheels are crap but the wheels on this one are nice so i could take the wheels from this and put in the other one and i think i still got the wheels from the k7 i did for uh, uh mr k7 mr robinson i think it should be somewhere around there you can see this one is the same front as the k7 but this one is a k36 supposed to have some plastic ramp here and it was uh, from factory it brought two other models on top it brought the tractor shovel and sight dumper so it, it came with two other uh, vehicles so you see the uh oh yeah i think the other wheels i have around are better this thing this thing can carry two cars maybe maybe two volkswagen i don't know i'm wondering if i could carry another truck with this oh damn look at that i could carry a tank on that thing Whew. so let me know which one you you want to see first and that's probably going to be one of my my next video i'll be keeping an eye out on the comments thank you for watching mm -hmm. peace out